this on? Can you hear me? Probably. You guys are all nice and close to me. Good morning, or good afternoon, New Life. Welcome. Um, I just want to give a thanks. We don't give enough thanks. So thank you to the worship team. Let's give them a round of applause for our worship team. Every single week, we always have music. We always have someone up there playing, and it's always different. So we just want to acknowledge them and just thank you guys. And we also want to thank Otto for being here every single week. He drives like 45 minutes, Otto. An hour and a half. An hour and a half. That's even longer than I thought. And he's always here first, and he's almost here last each time. So just thank you so much, Otto. One more time. Thank you, Otto. Um, before um, I go on with the announcements, I want to do something a little bit different. I know, a little change. Everyone, instead of just welcoming each other and just shaking each other's hands, what we're going to try to do today is we're going to bless each other. So everyone stand up and just like bless each other. Just give them a short prayer to them. God loves you. Say, I love you. Say something edifying. Just bless each other really quick. Bless you. I, I. Are there any new people here? Any? Oh, I know one person. Oh, what? We'll wait for them. <laughs> yes, we have a guest here, I believe. Phyllis. Hi. Uh, if you could stand up and welcome you, Phyllis. She's the wife of who? Pastor Eugene Guzon, if you'd stand up. He's head of the largest GCI church in the Philippines, if I'm correct, right? I believe so. National director. Huh? National director. Of oh, the he's the national director of the Philippines. <laughs> so, yes, we are honored to have you here, Pastor. Um, any birthdays? I believe today is uh, July 17th is Ronald Suna. Anyone else? Any other birthdays? Any anniversaries coming up or we missed? No? Alright. Um, and so, as many of you noticed, I'm giving the announcements this morning. And the reason is because Pastor Burmy, just like his wife a few weeks ago, is going to go see Amelia, his granddaughter, born from Carmel, his daughter. <laughs> and so that's where he is. He, he was here in a few minutes ago, but then he just left. So... We'll miss him. Keep him in your prayers. Keep him just praying for his protection and that he'll just have a very lovely trip. And then um, another announcement I have that I got from Regina. As many of you know, she's in Peru right now. And she's interning at this organization called WMF that stands for um, Word Made Flesh. I'll just read what she said. Uh, we will be reaching out to community members through sharing Jesus' love verbally, helping them financially, connecting them to local churches, and helping their physical circumstances. And WMF has been around for years. She has this, enchi this entire this comprehensive list of all this information about WMF, but she's looking if any of you are willing to donate to her cause, to donate to Peru and all the surrounding areas. You could come to me for more information. I'll just give you the link and all the information to help donate to them. And that would mean a lot for her. And so also just 
keeping her in your prayers, keeping her like for protection, just getting used to that culture and just learning Spanish and just all that hard stuff. And so I think that's all the announcements. If anyone has anything they want to announce, just suddenly anyone else getting married out of nowhere. <laughs> if not, then, um, not you, Dean. You're not here. Um, if not, then uh, let's all bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, gracious God, we just thank you so much for just being here, being in all our lives, just being an active role and just engaging us and just motivating us and just being here as we're all collected in just your church, Father. We thank you so much for that. And right now, we just lift up to you the names of anyone who are on our hearts or just who are on our minds. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayers, whether we verbalize them or they're just on our heart. You know our thoughts. You know exactly what's pressing on our heart, God, and you know who needs the prayers and you know who needs just the love and the attention right now, Father. And we thank you for being so attentive, being so gracious, just being, being so lovely, being so just amazing, Father. We thank you and bless your name. I just pray your blessing over this church service and just over our entire week. In Jesus' name, amen.